request for plenary indulgence. Let us humbly ask the Lord during this Mass for plenary indulgence, either for oneself or for a beloved dead who may be suffering in purgatory. Let us fulfill one of the requirements for gaining a plenary indulgence in the year of St. Joseph by a prayer for the Pope's intentions. Please kneel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. We now pray the prayer to St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through the charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin, Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which she embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ, O most loving Father, ward from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued a child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield, too, each one of us by your constant protection so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Please remain kneeling for the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek the protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people, tasked to find the cures for this disease, and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, and protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. 
grant all these through Christ, through, Lord, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Blessed Carlo Acutis. Pray for us. Let us all stand for the Angelus. The Angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the National Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes. Today is Wednesday of the ninth week in Ordinary Time. We also begin the Novena to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus with the theme, The Faithful Heart of Saint Joseph, Loving Disciple of the Heart of Christ, Inspiring Us to Become Missionary Disciples, Promoting Human Fraternity and Friendship. Today's theme of the Novena to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus is Saint Joseph, Protector of the Universal Church. Our Eucharistic celebration will be presided by Reverend Father Lewaram Francis Raj, OFM Capuchin. Please rise. Turn to me and have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am alone and poor. See my lowliness and suffering, and take away all my sins, my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, 
and to you, and my, to you my brothers and sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And we pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. Grief stricken in spirit, I, Tobit, groaned and wept aloud. Then with sobs, I began to pray. You are righteous, O Lord, and all your deeds are just. All your ways are mercy and truth. You are the judge of the world. And now, O Lord, may you be mindful of me and look with favor upon me. Punish me not for my sins, nor for my inadvertent offenses, nor for those of my ancestors. We sinned against you and disobeyed your commandments, so you handed us over to plundering, exile, and death, till you made us the talk and reproach of all the nations among whom you had dispersed us. Yes, your judgments are many and true in dealing with me as my sins and those of my ancestors deserve. For we have not kept your commandments, nor have we trodden the paths of truth before you. So now, deal with me as you please, and command my life breath to be taken from me, that I may go from the face of the earth into dust. It is better for me to die than to live, because I have heard insulting calumnies, and I am overwhelmed with grief. Lord, command me to be delivered from such anguish. Let me go to the everlasting abode. Lord, refuse me not, for it is better for me to die than to endure so much misery in life and to hear these insults. On the same day at Ekbatana in Media, it so happened that Raguel's daughter Sarah also had to listen to abuse from one of her father's maids, for she had been married to seven husbands, but the wicked demon Asmodeus killed them off before they could have intercourse with her as it is prescribed for wives. So the maid, maid said to her, you are the one who strangles your husbands. Look at you. You have already been married seven times, but you have had no joy with any one of your husbands. Why do you beat us? Is it on account of your seven husbands because they are dead? May we never see a son or daughter of yours. The girl was deeply saddened that day and she went into an upper chamber of her house where she planned to hang herself. But she reconsidered saying to herself, No, people would level this insult against my father. You had only one beloved daughter, but she hanged herself because of ill fortune. And thus would I cause my father in his old age to go down to the netherworld laden with sorrow. It is far better for me not to hang myself, but to beg the Lord to have me die, so that I need no longer live to hear such insults. At that time then, 
she spread out her hands and facing the window poured out her prayer blessed are you O lord merciful god and blessed is your holy and honorable name blessed are you in all your works forever at that very time the prayer of these two suppliants was heard in the glorious presence of almighty god so raphael was sent to heal them both to remove the cataracts from Tobit's eyes so that he might again see God's sunlight and to marry Raguel's daughter Sarah to Tobit's son Tobiah and then drive the wicked demon Asmodeus from her. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. In you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exalt over me. No one who waits for you shall be put to shame. Those shall be put to shame who heedlessly break faith. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus, he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Let us now stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, having a wife, but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers, the first married a woman and died, leaving no descendants. So the second brother married her and died, leaving no descendants, and the third likewise. And the seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not uh, misled because you do not know the scriptures are the power of God? When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses? In the passage about the bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are greatly misled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in London there is a church, and in the church there is a place called Whisper Chamber. So, what is the speciality of this place in the churches? If a person speaks in a corner, very whispering. The other person at the end of the other corner of the church can hear. Once a young man, actually he was troubled and he was praying before God. So he was pouring out his own difficulties in life. That about his, actually he is not having money, then trouble with his wife and with the war. So all these things uh, he was listing out before God. Then he left. When he was leaving, uh, I, uh, another man followed him. And he went to his house and gave him some money and left. Later, this young man came to know the man who gave him the money became the Prime Minister of uh, uh, that country. So even now our prayers are actually can be listened to like the uh, persons uh, in the first reading, Tobit and Sarah. Actually, if you have noticed, you know what they prayed for? They prayed to God for their death because Tobit has uh, lost his sight and Sarah was uh, despised by, his, by her maid. So all the day she said, I have lost my seven husbands. So she is uh, praying for death. But God listens to these two people. Tobit regains his sight uh, and uh, he, he is healed because he can give his uh, a son marries to Sarah. So Sarah marries uh, to be son. So from the depths of the heart, uh, somebody prays, God really listens. God is not a God of the dead, he is God of the living. So we need to look at our God in a different perspective. So actually God who takes care of us, who holds in his hands. So this kind of idea and this kind of belief really is reaching out to God. Of course, God is all the time is taking care of us. He is not God of the dead, but he is God of the living, as Jesus himself pointed out. Sometimes out of our frustrations as like uh, Tobit and Sarah, our prayer may be there, but still, God listens to our prayer. He is not God of the dead, but God of the living. Amen. Please rise. How glorious is the peace and hope of the resurrection. Let us pray with hearts set free from foolish doubt or hesitation because we believe in the promise of the one who rose again to eternal splendor. Our response, God of the living, hear us. God of the living, hear us. That the church may continually preach the good news of the resurrection and the life to come. Let us pray to the Lord, God of the living, hear us, that in our daily lives we may bring the light of hope to those who live in darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord, God of the living, hear us, that Christians everywhere may not be people of legalisms and outward observances, but people with the heart who do what they have to do because they are God's children. Let us pray to the Lord, God of the living, hear us, that the sick and those who suffer may discover the healing presence of Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord, 
God of the living, hear us. We pray for the dead and for those who mourn their loss. May the resurrection of Jesus bring them hope and comfort in their grief. Let us pray to the Lord, God of the living, hear us. Let us silently pray for personal intentions, the intentions offered during this Mass. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of the living, to whom all are in fact alive, grant the petitions we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer, the fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With humble and humble. Please rise. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and the joy we proclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest 
you are indeed holy o lord the founts of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and turned willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us so the to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis of pope honors of bishop and all the clergy we pray for brothers and sisters those who are gathered here for the intentions and the intentions suffered during this mass we also pray for the people those asked our prayers and those in need of our prayers too and we continue to pray for the people those are attending this mass through online remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray The the blessed virgin Mary, mother of God, blessed Joseph, as spouse, the blessed apostles, our fathers Saint Francis, Saint Clare, Saint Anthony of Padua, Saint Pio, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit it to be co-heirs with the eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever amen by the serious command and form by divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ at your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you peace with you Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have Amen. mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, beholding who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from you. From the malignant enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen.
Please rise for the prayer after communion. Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those who feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may made it to enter the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Kindly join us as we pray the Novena to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Please kneel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our specific theme and intention for the day, the first day of our Novena to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, is Saint Joseph, protector of the Universal Church. We pray for the Church, the sacrament of universal love. May it help all people to transcend the barriers of geography and distance for countries of different origin, nationality, color, and religion, that the Sacred Heart with Saint Joseph may call us all to live together as brothers and sisters in dialogue and common commitment, especially in this time of worldwide health crisis and its many consequences. O my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek, and I ask for the grace of Kindly mention your prayer requests. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O oh, my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Behold, in your name, I ask the Father for the grace of Kindly mention your prayer requests. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for the grace of. Kindly mention your prayer requests. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Let us pray. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, for whom it is impossible not to have compassion on the afflicted, have pity on us, miserable sinners, and grant us the grace which we ask of you, through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, your tender mother and ours. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruits of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters.